Hello, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here. Peter from Bugs in Cyberspace has sent me some Kinshi to try out with my arthropods. If you haven't heard of Kinshi, it's basically oak sawdust along with some other additives, soybean hulls and oats in this case, that have been colonized by mushroom mycelium. Mycelium is the root-like portion of the fungal organism that produces mushrooms as reproductive structures. The mycelium breaks down lignans in the wood, making nutrients more accessible. As the mycelium produces mushrooms, this depletes the nutrients in the medium, but the mycelium itself also contains nutrients, so kinshi can make a great food for detritivores such as isopods, millipedes, beetle larvae, and more. Following the directions that Peter provided, kinshi is best stored in a refrigerator until it's time for use. Remove an appropriately sized piece for whatever you're feeding, put it in the enclosure, and mist it. I've so far offered it to all of my millipedes, some of my isopods, and even to my desert beetles. Once you put kinshi in the enclosure, if conditions are appropriate, the mycelium will continue to grow for a while, so many of the creatures will initially graze on it for the accessible hyphae, which are individual threads of the mycelium, on the surface of the kinshi, and then might leave it alone for a while until some grows back, at which point they'll return and graze again. And some creatures seem much more attracted than others to the kinshi. I've seen various species of desert beetle nibble at it, but my diabolical ironclad beetles, which are also from Bugs in Cyberspace, are among the most enthusiastic. If you haven't seen the post on the Bugs in Cyberspace Instagram of the hellburnt diabolical ironclad beetles going after kinshi, you need to check it out. I've noticed that springtails really seem to be attracted to the kinshi as well, which makes sense as springtails naturally eat fungi. My millipedes show interest in it, and some isopods as well, though the isopods I've tried it with so far do not seem as attractive as the millipedes, but I still have lots of isopod species to try it with in various conditions. A couple of summers ago, I collected a few adults of the local stag beetle species we have in my state, Pseudolucanus mazama. I put them in my first attempt at homemade flake soil. They did produce larvae, and several of the larvae got quite big, but all of the adults ended up fairly small. I don't think I did a great job on that flake soil, but kinshi is said to be a very good dietary component for stag beetles, so I'd like to try out some of Peter's kinshi with some stag beetles this summer and see how they do. Judging by the way springtails gravitate to kinshi, I think it could be useful for establishing new enclosures for creatures like millipedes and isopods. A chunk of kinshi and some springtails would probably help jumpstart the microfaunal community needed for a healthy detritivore enclosure. If you want to try some kinshi, well, let me rephrase that. If you would like to try offering some kinshi to your fungivorous and or detritivorous arthropods, head on over to bugsandcyberspace.com. Don't try eating kinshi, of course, or the mushrooms that may grow from it. Even though this kinshi was originally colonized by edible oyster mushroom mycelium, there's no guarantee that your kinshi hasn't been colonized by something else. Thanks, Peter, for sending me this kinshi. I'm really excited to continue to try it out and see what happens with the various creatures I offer it to. I'd also like to thank my patrons for the support that they provide. If you would like to help support Aquarimax Pets, please click the link in the description or at the end of the video. And thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays all about aquarium and vivarium pets. By the way, kimchi and kinshi may sound similar, but they're very different. Kimchi describes a traditional Korean food made from pickling vegetables such as Napa cabbage. It's often quite spicy, and I think it's delicious, but I probably won't be offering any to my beetles anytime soon.